but we firmly believe that it's not enough to rely totally on education to deliver what we need in terms of STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths. So we decided to take the initiative, um, engage with schools, engage with the Curriculum for Wales and come up with some bespoke programmes which were both fun, inspired curiosity but delivered the all-important technology. Well, most of our programmes are about engaging with children outside the classroom. Uh, we do a very nice digital competency programme uh, which involves two days of activity. The first day is about media technology, exposing the children to broadcast equipment. And then collectively they write a script and then they elect who's going to be the camera person, who's going to do costumes and it really is fun and engaging. They get exposure to the technology in terms of the equipment which we produce on site and they also get exposure to the arts, the creativity bit. I think um, working within the industry is certainly something the children would consider. They um, are really keen, they love their technology. Anything to do with any electronics and technology, they're there. They absolutely love getting their hands on the technology and exploring and um, just they would certainly love to be part of the industry. EESW is the Engineering Education Scheme for Wales, so we run loads of different STEM activities in schools, in particular trying to get pupils into engineering. It gives them a real life insight into how manufacturing works and what a factory is actually like to work in. Another interesting programme for us and it's two different types and that's learn to code. Uh, so the children come in, they have a factory tour, they understand how technology is embedded into manufacturing, how to produce a Raspberry Pi and then after lunch in the afternoon they get to use a Raspberry Pi and they write their own code. Today was very good. Yeah, it was, really it was really fun. It was amazing. We've been learning about coding and then how to debug and things like that. One of the main reasons why we do these coding sessions in school is, is to pique the children's interest. It's to get them excited and passionate about coding and about computational thinking so that in the future that's going to be the direction they want to go. So far we've had over 11,000 children pass through our doors uh, on the various programmes that we run. Uh, in the early days in 2012 it was a mere 750. I'm delighted to be able to report that this year we will again exceed over 3,000 pupils in one year and this year we will have broken through the 10,000 barrier.